Hey everyone, it's Job. I hope you're doing well. Before we get started with our journaling session, I wanted to show you a few uh, stickers that I got as well as a big pen purchase from Paper Plus Cloth. I love dot stickers and I was running low um, in my stash. I usually go for the classic -y ones, but I wanted to show you some of these cool ones that I recently picked up. These are some Cameo dot stickers and the ones that I got actually have some gold foiling around them. These ones are a little bit more... I guess subtle these are from mind wave and these have like an organic circular shape which is kind of cool it changes it up a little bit and it looks a little bit more freehand and then these last two sheets are beautiful i don't remember the brand but i'll leave it in the description bar below but this is stunning because it has like a night sky feel to it and i love anything night sky as of late which segues nicely into my big pen purchase. This is a Sailor Pro Gear Slim Mini from the Morocco series. I got it in a medium fine nib and this is the night blue colorway or night sky colorway and I love it so much. I thought I would share this with you because this was a momentous occasion and I finally have my first gold nib fountain pen. And let's journal because this is actually like the main inspiration for my journal spread today and i wanted to show you what i've been enjoying for my like journaling as of late because i've talked about this um specific journal in my like mid-year techo kaigi this is my passport size traveler's notebook and usually my passport size traveler's notebook just comes with me but i never really use it like sometimes i use it as a paper pad when i'm like out and about but i haven't meaningfully like connected with it and used it in like a really like good way like it's it's just been like in my life but i haven't meaningfully used it in a in a really long time so i thought i would give it a shot um like in early like june and i've been loving journaling in this it's so fun and i have created this little mixed paper insert with some paper scraps that i have and i'm just calling this insert like my mini moments insert which just has like little snapshots from my life that are significant but i am kind of focusing on the collaging about that event rather than writing about it because uh there's not much writing space in here i mean you for sure you can totally write but i wanted this um this journal insert or this uh, set up to be more like visual and just for me to play with collaging because i love collaging it's one of my favorite forms of like art and creative expression um, and i love mixing like collaged elements with photos and quotes and stamping and sometimes i lose sight of that when i'm working on a journal spread just because i want it to look a certain way or i feel like i need to use a million stickers and this insert has kind of like been a re-experimentation that doesn't sound right like a playground of sorts i guess um, where i can kind of just exercise some collaging and get playful and use different elements that i normally wouldn't use um and kind of like use this as like a testing ground to use in my like larger sized um notebooks it's also really fun to journal in this because you can kind of like take a while to like create a journal spread but it still doesn't take that long because you have less space so this took me i think less than 15 minutes um, and i just sped this up i think like two times speed or maybe 1.5 uh, time speed so it's not like extremely sped up uh, but as you can see i knotted some of the th i almost said thread i guess this is cord string what is this called <laughs> um that came with the packaging from my paper plus cloth order and i kind of tied it into a bow just because this felt like a gift and then i used one of the lovely wax seals that brash and sassy natasha sent to me um, i'll leave her socials down below she like pre pre-wax these seals and put like sticky paper on it and i thought it would be cool to kind of layer that wax seal over top of the bow so it looks like it was um like sealed to the page when in reality it's kind of like a, a 3d sticker and then i used some of the dot stickers that came with the packaging again to ground that like little loose thread or like the i don't actually know what you call those little like hanging parts from a bow are they still part of the bow are they like the ties at the end of the bow i don't even know but i just added the, the green dot sticker there and then i layered the, the like plaid blue sticker over top of that blue scrap paper i also um stapled some craft paper and i intend on doing some stamping there but i also thought i should use some of my new dot stickers so as i said before i love dot stickers so i layered a dot sticker over top of another dot sticker 
if you can already tell, I love dot stickers. Um, but yeah, I don't know if this video is more about the dot stickers or the journal spread. Uh, but again, I opened another dot sticker sheet. But this uh, sticker sheet actually has like one sticker that is not a dot sticker. And it's this paper airplane sticker that is silver foiled, which I thought really went well with the silver wax seal and the overall kind of cooler toned elements in this spread. I know we have like the warmer craft paper and there's some green and red peeking through, but for the most part there's a lot of blues and like teals and greens um, like cool tone greens here again I did more of this like dot sticker layering and I realized that maybe I should have purchased more of these stickers because I'm gonna go through them real quick because they're so fun to layer and I think they're one of the most versatile types of stickers just because I love a good like background washi which just has like a subtle pattern or like a like a plain dot sticker or those donut stickers which has like a little cutout in the center um, and I thought that this the spread looked pretty done I thought some stamping would make it a little bit more meaningful and I thought just stamping new pende would be kind of enough just to add some indication of what was happening here. We do have the little note from uh, the Paper Plus Cloth team on the right hand side of the spread, but I thought it would be a little bit nicer to stamp like new pende using this uh, Michael's dollar, dollar spot. Um, like stamp set this is actually not something that i purchased this was actually like a, a hand me down from a friend because they weren't really using it and this is probably one of my most used stamp sets which is ridiculous because this is probably a dollar and i've had to like glue the rubber parts back onto the wooden like stamp holders or like the little like piece that you hold to stamp with um, like multiple times just because it is cheaper quality but i just love like the sans serif font and i love that it's in all capitals it's just a very clean like uh i guess helvetica like font i don't know if what exact font this is but i thought it was nice and clean and simple and then i wanted to draw some stuff with my posca paint marker just because black paper just screams like white posca paint pen so i grabbed my posca paint pen and i just drew like a little cartoony uh fountain pen nib and then just added some stars here and there just to add you know a little bit more of some flair to finish everything off, I just needed to add the date and I thought that would be like the last element just because um, we have quite a bit of stuff going on and I didn't want it to be too overstuffed. I love a layered look, but I don't want it to be too busy. So I just um, scripted out July 7th using my Posca paint marker and I called it a date. I think this is actually a really fun journal spread and I just love using this notebook. I highly recommend if you've been using a traveler's notebook regular size for a really long time, just to switch and use a passport size traveler's notebook just because it's so fun and it just adds a new experience. It takes everything that you love with like a regular size traveler's notebook and makes it smaller. Um, I think partially this is also due to the fact that I am in love with my mini five ring planner setup. So I've been working in smaller like systems and just trying out a smaller system for journaling has been really fun. Highly recommend it. There'll be more of these like mini journal sessions just because I've been enjoying this size. And let me know what else you would like to watch on the channel. I'll see you next Monday, everyone. Bye bye.